the excess fatty tissues volume of the face and body can be reduced by activating the cell's apoptosis. This process allows us to reduce the volume of the nasolabial folds, molar sacs, double chin, as well as the body fat that cannot be corrected by diet and physical activity. The vitamin C, in the presence of the ferric ion, activates the Fenton's reaction. This reaction produces an optimal amount of free radicals that triggers the cell's apoptosis. Unlike the necrosis, the process of apoptosis does not lead to the rupture of the cell's membrane and, as a consequence, to the inflammation. This ensures safety and no side effects. Therefore, it's crucial to use drugs that induce apoptosis. To start the correct process of apoptosis, we need to mix ascorbic acid with a solution of ferric iron. By mixing these two compounds, a certain amount of free radicals get released. The obtained solution must be injected into the fat traps perpendicularly using a 4 or 6 mm needle. It's important not to exceed the quantity of 1 mm per 1 square centimeter. This precise amount makes it possible to obtain a concentration of free radicals that triggers apoptosis and not necrosis. To carry out the procedure to remove the hernias of the lower or upper eyelid, we need to perform the following protocol. Inject 0.2 milliliters of the obtained solution into each of the hernias with a 4 mm needle perpendicularly directly above the periosteal edge. It's imperative to adhere to the specified amount of the drug. The apoptosis process proceeds very quickly and the effects are noticeable within 2-3 to three days after the procedure. Therefore, you can repeat this procedure after a week if the result is insufficient. This protocol can be successfully used on all areas of the face and body where are present unwanted adipose tissue accumulations. The effect of the proposed procedures is visible, safe and long-lasting.